What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find equivalent fractions with variables, okay? And there's two kind of straightforward ways of doing this. One is by cross multiplying, and then there's another method that's a little simpler that's just multiplying straight across, okay? So I'm going to show you both. So let's do this first example right here. 2 over 4 is equal to x over 12, okay? So we're trying to solve for x. Now, the first way we're going to solve this is by cross multiplying, okay? So when you cross multiply, it's really helpful to just draw a couple lines, and you're literally going to cross them, okay? So I'm going to draw a line from this denominator to this numerator, and then I'm going to do the same thing this way. So I'm going to do it from this numerator to this denominator, okay? So that's showing me what I'm going to multiply together. So I'm going to multiply 4 and x, okay? So let's do that. 4 times x. And then we're going to set that equal to, okay, equal to our other cross. So this blue cross. So that would be 2 times 12. Okay, so it's equal to 2 times 12. All right, now we just have to simplify some things. So what's 4 times x? Well, that's just 4x, right? And then that's equal to, okay, equal to 2 times 12. And 2 times 12 is 24. Okay, now this problem's a little easier to solve. So, again, we're trying to solve for x over here. So that means we have to get rid of this 4 somehow, right? So, since we're multiplying here, in order to undo the multiplication, we have to divide. Okay, and what are we going to divide by? Well, whatever we're trying to get rid of. So, if we're trying to isolate this variable x, that means we have to get rid of the 4. So, we're going to divide by 4. Okay? But whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. Okay, so if we divide by 4 here, we also have to divide by 4 here. Okay, now we have the same number on top and on the bottom, so they cancel out, okay? So all we're left with on this side is just this variable x. Then that's going to be equal to 24 over 4, or in other words, 24 divided by 4. So what is 24 divided by 4? That would just be 6. Okay, so we got an answer here of x is equal to 6. So then we could go back to our problem over here and say x is equal to 6, right? So we could go back to this problem and say 2 over 4 is equal to 6 over 12. Okay, now I just want to show you one other method that I think is a little quicker, especially with bigger numbers, and that's by just multiplying straight across. So let me write our problem one more time. So we had 2 over 4 is equal to x over 12. Okay, now this time I'm going to multiply just straight across. But how do you know which one to start from? So I mean, am I going to multiply going this way? Or am I going to multiply going this way? Well, you always want to start from your completed fraction. So as you can see, this is a complete fraction, right? We have a 2 on the top and a 4 on the bottom. This one is an incomplete fraction, right? Because we don't know what the number is over here. So if we're going to start from our completed fraction, that means we're going to start here and then multiply going that way. Okay, so then all I'm going to ask myself is 4 times what is equal to 12? Well, 4 times 3, right? 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So if we're going to multiply by 3 down here, we also have to multiply by 3 up here. So what's 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is just 6, right? So that means x is equal to 6. And as you can see, we got the same answer here as we did right here. All right, so those are your two methods. Let's do one more example. Okay, so this time we're going to try 56 over y is equal to 7 over 5. So again, the first way we're going to solve this is by cross multiplying, okay? So you can always start by just drawing your cross right here, okay? So we're going to multiply y and 7 together. So we're going to do 7 times y, and we're going to set that equal to, okay, equal to our other cross, which is this blue cross right here, okay? 56 times 5, okay? So 56 times 5. Okay, so let's simplify some things. So 7y, that's as simplified as we can get it right now. So that's going to be equal to, what's 56 times 5? 
Well, 56 is kind of a bigger number, right? So let's multiply this out really quick. So we have 56 times 5, so 6 times 5 is 30. And then 5 times 5 is 25, and then 25 plus 3 is 28. Okay, so 280. So we have 280 right here. Okay, now I have 7y is equal to 280. So again, we're trying to solve for y, right? So I need to get rid of this 7 somehow. So since we're multiplying here, in order to undo the multiplication, I have to divide, okay? And since I divided by 7 on this side, I also need to divide by 7 on this side. Okay, so now on the left side, we have a 7 on top and on the bottom, so they cancel out. So here on the left side, all we're left with is y, and then that's equal to 280 divided by 7. What is that? Well, again, that's kind of a bigger number, right? So let's just divide it. So 280 divided by 7. All right, so 7 doesn't go into 2, but it does go into 28 exactly 4 times. And then 4 times 7 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. And then we'll bring down this 0. 7 goes into 0 0 times. And then 0 times 7 is 0. So we subtract, and we have no remainder. Okay, so 7 goes into 280 40 times. So 280 divided by 7 is 40. All right, so y is equal to 40 would be our answer. And we could also put it back into our original problem right here. So we got y is equal to 40, right? So we'll plug that in for y. So here we would have 56 over 40 is equal to 7 over 5. Okay, so that's how you can solve it using cross multiplication, but let's do the other method one more time. So let's rewrite our problem really quick. 56 over y is equal to 7 over 5. Okay, so remember, this time I'm just going to multiply straight across. And I want to start from my completed fraction and go to my incomplete fraction. So 7 over 5 is my complete fraction, right? So I'm going to start there and then go this way. So I'm going to say... 7 times what is equal to 56? Well, 7 times 8 is equal to 56, right? But remember, if we're going to multiply by 8 up here, we also have to multiply by 8 down here, okay? So now, what's 5 times 8? 5 times 8 is equal to 40, right? So 40 is equal to y. So that would be our answer right here. And as you can see, we got the same exact answer here as we did here. All right, guys, so there's two methods you can use to find equivalent fractions that have variables, right? So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a whole playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check that out, and I'll see you there.